I'm the principal of Peter Zosky College, coming to you virtually from uh, a house in Peterborough. Um, I'm going to start with a with a land acknowledgement. We respectfully acknowledge that Trent University is on the treaty and traditional territory of the Mishisagig Anishinaabeg, and I am on the tr treaty and traditional territory of the Mishisagig Anishinaabeg right now, and some of you are as well, uh, although we are scattered around at the moment. But we do offer our gratitude to the First Peoples for their care for and teaching about our earth and our relations, and may we honor those teachings. So we wanted to make sure we said, uh, we did that acknowledgement, even though it's a little bit of a, an unusual world when we are all um, here virtually. So again, we are in slightly unusual times here, um, but we are here today to celebrate our award-winning students in Zosky College. And as I said, we are recording this event and we will post an edited version of it uh, on our website to celebrate our students' achievements. So this could be a little complicated today, but we think it'll be fun. Um, for each award, we have presenters and award winners. I will introduce each award, and then I will invite the presenter to announce the winner and to read some lovely comments about each of you, the winners. Uh, and then we will just ask you, the student, to confirm that you're online, unmute at that point, and give us a little wave and say something, say a thank you, and, and it, not a speech, but like something so that we can see you on the screen, and that will be great for a video as well, or for recording. Uh, and for those of you, um, while you're watching all of this part, if you can keep your microphone muted uh, to avoid us hearing everything in your house while, while that's happening, that would be great. So, so for now, you can put yourself on mute. Um, and then if you're a presenter or an award winner for a section, then you can unmute at that point and I'll try to give some reminders. And when the winners are called, it would be great uh, if we could have a little um, silent hand clap or jazz hand. So while you're all sort of here looking at me, do a little practice like you can silently clap, you can give a little jazz hand, and that will be great for video. Okay, awesome, thank you. Um, After our awards, we will have a toast to the award winner. So if you uh, have a glass of juice or equivalent or water or whatever you would like to have as a libation uh, at the end of that, that would be great. Um, there are three sections for today's awards ceremony. We have awards and prizes uh, for working within and around the Zosky community. We have nominated awards uh, and we have some awards for um, community building as well. So that's kind of the order of ceremonies. And our first section will be, um, it, we kind of sort of like community work, but it's work within uh, some of our student um, organizations in the community. Now, before we go into that first award, I just want to acknowledge that Chancellor Stephen Stone has joined us today. He popped in for a little visit, and it's kind of exciting to have the Chancellor here uh, to watch us all, especially given that convocation is a little bit up in the air right now, so he may not get to shake all of your hands later. Uh, Chancellor Stone, if you want to just say a, a couple of words now, I'm sure the students and uh, our presenters would love to hear a, a, a word from you. Well, thank you. Thank you, Melanie. And I'm just so delighted to be able to be part of this. Uh, and, you know, I'm sorry we're not there in person. On the other hand, it really is kind of amazing that we are all here together. And I want to congratulate all of you on uh, rising to the challenge that, you know, is facing us and is going to face us for a while. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to today's ceremony. I won't, I won't go on with my usual talk about how you're all part of the new hope and you're going to carry <laughs> on and save the world, except I've just done that now. But I am standing by with my, uh, my buble, um, my blackberry buble, my favorite drink to salute you all at the end of the ceremony. Excellent. Thank you so much, Chancellor Stone. It's great to have you join us for this. All right, so we are moving into uh, the first awards, and the first award is the Peter Zosky College Cabinet Award. The Zosky Cabinet has two awards that are given to a Peter Zosky College undergraduate student who has made a significant contribution to the university community. Uh, the first is for a cabinet director that has displayed exceptional work with a focus in committees, policy, and internal relations. And I would like to ask Allison Peake, the Zosky College assistant, uh, to present this award for us. Hi. So when Gary started out the year as the cabinet's vice president, little did she know what she'd taken on. Over the summer, she managed to get promoted to Zosky president and stepped up to the role. 
She took on the task of giving students in residence a Zofsky College gift. Um, she went around to all of the residences' rooms in Zofsky College and put gifts in their room. I managed to help her out for a little bit until the fire alarm testing happened and we all had to vacate the building. But she heroically carried on after the um, fire alarm finally stopped. She got through an amazing year where there was uncertainty in funding, helped plan out successful college weekends, and the cabinet even managed to get rail jam back when there was snow on the ground. I work in the college office and I've witnessed her always striving to be her best and collaborating with others. We worked in col collaboration to organize the harvest dinner that was held in the dining hall this year. And Gary's in her final year of, economics and, of an economics and psychology degree and we wish her all the best for the future. May it be slightly more predictable next year. So I'd like to present the, the award over to Gary. Thank you. And now we can all clap and jazz hands for Gary. Congratulations, Gary. Okay, I am going to present the next award. I'm just going to go back over here for one second. So I'm presenting uh, the second Zosky College Cabinet Award today. Uh, and this one is presented to a cabinet member who is nominated by members of the cabinet executive. And the award is presented uh, to a cabinet director that has displayed exceptional work with a focus on event planning and campaigns. The Zosky College cabinet nominated Lauren Sagan for the award, the award this year. During this past academic year, Lauren has taken on a variety of positions within the Zosky College cabinet, including senior social ambassador and vice president, and has excelled as a leader in each and every capacity. Lauren's willingness to monitor internal affairs while preparing and coordinating a variety of successful activities, including her efforts to bring back Trent Riverside Rail Jam and her work on the very successful cabinet East Bank Breakfasts, has shown her dedication and her loyalty to cabinet and Tazoski students. She's been incredibly helpful and kind during this year. Uh, one of the things she did just about a month ago before all this happened is remembered that one of the staff members in the building who works downstairs in the Zosky Cafe had a birthday uh, and Lauren stuck her head into the college to say could we present a little gift to Pat uh, for her service to the university. So it's those little touches and remembering uh, the important things about people that make uh, Lauren really special. She has been, uh, as I said, really helpful and kind to her cabinet this year, has stepped into leadership, and she's also uh, moving into an, or an orientation week uh, position as a student volunteer with O Week this uh, fall, which we're really excited about. So we're extremely grateful to have Lauren uh, on cabinet, and I would like to present this award to you, Lauren. Thank you so much, Mel. Congratulations. Okay, so the next award, sorry, just scrolling down here, we are giving the Zosky College graduation prizes. So we have two Zosky College graduation prizes. Uh, the first is for a student who is in a part-time studies load. Uh, and the second is for a student that is full-time uh, and both are graduating this academic year. So we are going to start with the part-time student graduation prize and I will pass this over to Marisha Lamond who is the academic skills instructor um, for Zosky College. I believe I have a presentation for Nikisha that's coming up for the community. Oh, sorry, it's I'm wrong. My fault, it's Byron. I missed my mark there. Byron, you're up. Um, I have the honor of presenting an award to a high achieving uh, graduating student in Zosky College who is a part-time studies. And the recipient this year is Lonya Burton, a student graduating with a degree in philosophy, an area dear to my heart. Uh, Lanya has taken advantage of the many opportunities offered at Trent. He's done very well studying at Trent, and he's done very well studying away from Trent. Lanya spent a year abroad at the University of Malta, where he completed a range of very interesting courses. Um, I was particularly keen to learn that he completed courses in the philosophical notations of Sanskrit grammar. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. 
After this year abroad, Lanya completed his degree as a part-time student, and he shared that this allowed him to engage with courses in a more fulsome way, and his academic grades reflect that he's taken advantage of this uh, opportunity. I'm always happy to recognize the accomplishes, accomplishments of a student who studies philosophy, and I'm especially happy to recognize the accomplishment of a student who engages with his study in a way that fit with his life in an integrated way. All indications are that Lanya has done just that. Please help me with jazz hands or claps to congratulate Lanya Burton's success. <laughs> Thanks, Byron. Um, really happy to be uh, receiving this award, and it's a nice way to end my time at Trent. So, thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Lanya, and congratulations. I'm going to turn this over to Dr. Gary Burness, biology uh, chair of the biology program, to do our next award. Okay, my mic's on, yeah, okay. So I'm thrilled to present the award for highest academic average for a graduating student in Zosky College to a biology student, Sam Murray. And I've known Sam for a few years since he took my animal physiology course in third year. He may have taken first year too, but certainly he was in that one, uh, which is a smaller class, so I, I got to know him a bit. Um, and he did astonishingly well in that course. And I, I was absolutely amazed by it. And I didn't realize though that that was just the way Sam runs. Like he's like that in every single one of his courses. And as a result of that, I actually had a conversation with him in my office and I offered him, or pretty much offered him a job for the summer. And he may be the only student who's declined because he actually had other things going on back in his hometown. But I was really interested in getting him to work with me, but he had other, other plans. And so a bit about Sam, just a bit for those who don't know. So Sam is currently finishing up his honors biology degree with a specialization in health sciences. And as part of his degree, he completed a medical internship in the Peterborough Regional Health Center, and he got to experience uh, critical care and pathology and anesthesiology, among other things too. And following graduation, he's planning to take a year off uh, so he can work a bit, uh, build up his non-academic resume, because his academic one is absolutely superb, and then study for the MCAT, which for those who don't know, is the admissions test for medical school. So then he hopes to uh, go to an Ontario medical school I think that's a great decision because he's going to be just a fantastic doctor. And then after that, uh, Sam plans to practice in a rural area similar to the one he grew up in. So anyway, I'm thrilled to be presenting this award to Sam Murray. So congratulations, Sam. Oh, and Gary. Would you clap. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Yeah, thank you very much. Very grateful. <laughs> Congratulations, Sam. You have been in our award ceremonies before because you keep getting such a high average. So we have uh, seen you before and congratulations. That's really, uh, you, you really have done a great job. Uh, we are moving on to the Patterson Aberhart Award for Excellence in Teamwork. This award uh, was inherited from Peter Robinson College, actually, uh, and it is awarded to the Zosky College orientation uh, co-chairs, the, the two students who run uh, our college orientation week in recognition of their spirited commitment to the college and to Trent and their team strength in leading orientation programming for new students. I would like to invite Amelia Monday, the orientation coordinator, to present the Patterson Aberhart Award for Excellence to uh, the first of the two coordinators to Jaden Wood. Amelia? Um, I'm really excited to present this award to Jaden. Uh, from the moment I had the opportunity to um, call her to offer her the position of orientation facilitator for Zosky. Just based off her reaction, I knew that she was going to be an excellent fit for the role. Um, I was um, blown away by Jaden's work over the course of the summer and into orientation week from everything from supporting her teammates in the office, uh, her co-facilitator, to planning bring it on. Um, she knew the names of every single student who was registered for the program for Bring It On and could tell you in alphabetical order basically who they all were, um, which was super impressive. And she carried on that level of detail through um, all of the different planning perspectives and um, things that made orientation a wonderful experience for her Orientation Week leader team and for the incoming new students at Tazoski College. So I'm very proud to present this award to Jaden and am very excited uh, to see what she's going to do uh, after Trent as she continues on to pursue her education degree. So congratulations, Jaden and uh, Sarah, um, oh, just as well as well. So I'll let Mel take it from here. So yay, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Amelia. That means so much. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Julia. Okay.
Okay, I have the pleasure of presenting the second of the Patterson Eberhardt Awards, uh, and I am presenting this to St Sarah Stuke. Sarah um, has worked in the Zosky College office as well, so I've known Sarah for about uh, at least three years, and I can say that when Sarah takes on a role, she puts all her considerable organizational energy into that role, and she takes on roles for causes that are dear to her and that help other students and other people as well. She has shown that in her leadership for Trent Active Minds over the past few years on campus, and she has shown it in her commitment to orientation. Sarah was with Jaden, one of the two O-Week facilitators in Zosky College, and her exemplary leadership of a team of student volunteers, as well as her excellent teamwork with her partner was very clear from the beginning. Uh, Sarah and Jaden worked to provide an amazing experience for new students that supported all students. In her role with Orientation Week programming, uh, originally as a volunteer on O-Week and eventually as one of the leaders, Sarah worked to provide inclusive programming and to meet the needs of all incoming students. She took a particular interest in running and supporting Orientation's Brave Space events. Brave Space supports small peer uh, supported small peer supported events and panel discussions for students of color, for Indigenous students, for students who identified as LGBTQ+, and for those who identified as needing a little more support in general and a little more support uh, for mental health as well. Sarah works hard in all of her roles to promote inclusiveness and support social change, and her passion and interest has been in supporting students who need a little bit more support. Her approach to leadership shows a quiet determination to lead by example and to support all students. I watched her do this effectively with Jade and her partner on O-Week, and I'm very impressed at the teamwork that they both uh, showed. And I should add to all of you that when they first got together as a team, I pulled them both aside and said, you're going to have to stick it out in the, the good and the bad and the ugly. So know that you're going to be sharing tight quarters. You're going to have some fights and you have to have each other's back no matter what in every scenario. And they both took it to heart uh, and really led an amazing, amazing week. So Sarah Stu, congratulations. And let's give you a clap and you can say something. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, I am moving on to the Zosky certificate. For the first time, uh, we have the opportunity to celebrate students who have obtained a Zosky uh, leadership certificate this year. And I will pass this over to, uh, I think I'll pass it on to Allison first to kind of explain um, the award a little bit. Okay. And, yep. then, and then from there, we'll go to Marisha. Yeah, so the Zosky certificate is new this year and it was introduced uh, to enable students to add something extra to their resumes. It rewards students who take part in events in addition to their studies. So students have to take part in a minimum of six events and activities to demonstrate their social responsibility and civic engagement, career readiness and cultural engagement at Trent. So we currently have 80 students that are signed up to take part in this. Uh, but they can take as long as they need to complete it so we're anticipating that generally people take a couple of years to um, finish it but we currently have two students that have managed to complete it in one year so now i'll hand you over to marisha thank you allison i'm very pleased to present this certificate to nikisha nikisha was the first to apply for the community engagement and leadership certificate there are several different types of the certificate, and this one requires a demonstration in a leadership role, which she achieved through her work as Zosky Cabinet Equality Ambassador. Her other activities included attending the Elders and Traditional Peoples Gathering, attending a Pine Tree Talk, gaining skills by attending academic skills appointments, volunteering at Open House, and attending a resource fair. I'd like to congratulate Nikisha on being the very first to receive a community engagement and leadership certificate. Congratulations. I know that Nikisha's um, microphone doesn't work, so we're not going to be able to get her big on screen, but you can wave to us. 